Hello everyone and welcome to Fred Production. In today's tutorial I will show you how to make some basic kinetic typography. I start off with recording my voice and I have done that in Camtasia. Just because I don't have access to any better softwares and then I need to go to the internet. I go to allsilhouettes.com and I will download a couple of free vectors. Then I open them in Photoshop, uh, in Illustrator and I select the silhouettes that I want in my design. When I go to new document, I make them brown and I copy them, paste them into Photoshop, and I make sure that the background is transparent. Then I use the selection tool to select all the individual characters and crop them. So I will get them into separate pictures. Then I go save, save for web devices. And I make sure it's a PNG so I will still have the transparency in the background. Then I go open up After Effects, go to Composition Settings, make sure it's set to 1050 times 576 and set the background to orange. And when I drag in the narrative's voice, it automatically creates a new layer. Then I have a vignette that I'm pre-made in Photoshop and the objects as you were shown before. Now I need to go to the text tool and I will start typing in the copy, the text that I need for this animation. And I want that to be brown and the same color as the character. I use the color picker tool and I turn my copy into the same brown color. Now I just need to go and type in all the text that I want and I make sure that they are on separate layers which will make it much easier when we um, animate a little bit later on. After I've done this I need to go to the layers and set them into 3D layers. This will also help when I start animating it. And here I will select all the objects within the canvas and I'll go effect, perspective and drop shadow just to create a bit more of a 3D effect. Then I go and I highlight a couple of words and I turn them white and then I need to start positioning it um, and making up the structure that I want the animation to follow. And I need to go to set rotation and rotate that to 90 angle to 90 you could actually you can double click on it and just type in the angle that you want and I keep positioning the, the typography here uh, I've already done this so I go into the final setting which I'm going to animate and it looks like this and it's it's uh, very important that every word uh, comes out and follows the narrator's voice. And I can stretch um, the timeline here to be able to get more detailed animations. Then I go layer, new, and I add a new camera to the composition. And I click OK. Then I need to add a new null object. The null object here needs to be set on 3D. Then I parent the camera to the null object. So whatever I do with the null object now, the camera will follow. So basically the null object is the steering wheel of the animation from now. I go in and I put in onto the timeline the position and scale. Yeah, and then I add another two keyframes. I try to center this, and I'll try, and I will blow it up a bit, make it a bit bigger, something like that. You can see it comes from behind and goes into the center. I got a layer mask. Oh, I, I was, I had the null object highlighted. I need to go. Uh, control set to undo and I go 
and I highlight behind and I add a new mask to the white layer there. And if I scroll the mouse button, mouse button it will zoom in and then um, short command H will give you the hand tool so you can um, play around in the composition. And now I go down to the mask and I put in a keyframe where I want the mask to start and where I want it to end. And I have to go back to the first keyframe. And I'll set the mask so the word will not be visible from the start of the animation. Alright. Now you need to see when the next word comes in. There. Go up to null object. Put in keyframes. And I want to pos position this a bit more up to the top. I need to see where the next word successful is where it will be according to the timeline. And I put in new keyframes. Hold on, I forgot to put in a keyframe for the set rotation. Go and I do that. And I put in another three keyframes. And I go and I rotate it. The whole I rotate the null object so the camera will follow it. Try to get more in the middle. A bit further up. That looks pretty good. No, I just yeah. And I want the composition to, uh, or the animation to be moving from left to right here to follow the word a bit. Yeah. And there, the woman will be appearing as well. It's basically just be careful, go through the timeline and just using the position, scale and the rotation tool, uh, you can pr pretty much um, figure this um, whole animation out. And you can also add uh, blurriness to the composition, but this uh, composition is uh, so fast anyway, so it doesn't really matter if you add the blur because you won't be able to see it that much. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching uh, Fred Productions. My name is Henrik Limblad, and I hope you have learned something on this tutorial. Now, let's have a look of the final outcome. Behind every successful woman stands an utterly confused man.